Let's take a little bit look at strong bases. So strong bases, if we add a strong base to water, the base is going to split into its, its uh, positive ion and its negative ion. For a strong base, this reaction is going to go to completion. So all of the strong bases are that we're going to be looking at are hydroxide bases. So all you need to do is to identify what, so for NaOH, we can see Na is our Na plus ion. The OH part is OH minus. We have one of each. So NaOH is going to split into plus and OH minus. Do make sure that you memorize what your strong bases are. These are all highly soluble in water. So a shortcut to knowing these strong bases is also looking at your solubility rules. So you may want to go back and review those. So let's look at how we calculate pH and pOH from our strong bases. So pOH is the negative log of our hydroxide concentration. For sodium hydroxide in water, the OH minus concentration is equal to NaOH. We can prove that by looking back at our dissociation reaction. Notice that the coefficient here is 1. The coefficient in front of the hydroxide here is also 1. So it's a one-to-one -one relationship. That's how we can verify that for every one sodium hydroxide, there's one hydroxide ion. So that means that if we know the concentration of sodium hydroxide, then we know the concentration of hydroxide ions. So if the concentration of sodium hydroxide is 2.5 times 10 to the negative third molar, then we can substitute this value in for hydroxide in the pOH equation. So pOH would equal the negative log of 2.5 times 10 to the negative third molar, and that gives us our pOH. But we want to get to pH. So remember from our discussion about water that pH plus pOH is equal to 14. Now we know we're in water because these were aqueous from our balanced equation. Aqueous means dissolved in water. So we know that this equation is going to hold true. We know our pOH. We know this relationship. So I'm going to solve this equation for pH. So I'm going to subtract pOH from each side. So my pH is going to be equal to 14 minus my pOH. So if I calculate that out, 14 minus 2.6, I get 11.4. So the pH of this solution is 11.4. The pOH is 2.6. Do be careful about that. It's very common for students to get this mixed up and report a pOH when they're supposed to report a pH or vice versa. So you do want to make sure that uh, you're clear on which one you're working with. So just to double check yourself, make sure that your calculations make sense. If you have an acidic solution, your pH should be less than seven. So if you get a pH that's like three million, that's a clue that something has gone terribly awry. If you have a basic solution, the pH should be over seven. And if you have a neutral solution, your pH should be around seven. So do make sure that you check your calculations that they, they make sense. By that same token, an acidic solution, the pH should be less than 7. If you're finding the pOH for that, it should be more than 7. Basic solution, pH over 7, or the pOH less than 7. Okay. Neutral solution, the pH should be around 7, and the pOH should be also 7. 